little bit every time I give a new black belt. Uh, because uh, I don't like to get boring, but uh, a couple of things needs to be reminded. Today I think I'm going to make it a little different speech in a way that I think it will affect all of us. Okay? First, to have a black belt, of course, of course, you need the minimum time as all the other belts. You need great technical level. You need dedication. You need perseverance, you need warrior spirit. All those positive things that I needed for a new black belt. But there's one thing that for me, it's the most important thing for a black belt. In, a, in, a, in my conception, sometimes I got wrong. I got wrong in my life before because I fought one thing and then it's one of those things. When you give power or a little bit of power or fame or money to a man, you know who he is or who she is. <laughs> Sometimes we get mistaken, but from the bottom of my heart, I'll never give a black belt to a people, to, to any, any person who doesn't have character. If you're not getting a black belt today, I'm not saying you have bad character. <laughs> All I'm saying is that the person needed, <coughs> maybe, little bit of more dedication, little bit of more effort, little bit of more uh, black belt attitude, little bit of more several attitude. And sometimes you have it all. But I need to analyze every black belt to whoever he or she is. <coughs> I'll give an example here. I'm spoiling the surprise, but I guess you're going to give the example. I have guys like, like uh, Coach Arian and Coach Ricky. <coughs> they are black belts. But they're young. They live on the gym. They're full-time competitors. They do gi, no gi, MMA. They are not married yet. I cannot give them the same treatment that I'll give to other person who is a family father, 50 plus years old, train when he can or she can, is here most of the time with the dedication, but it's just different lifestyles. I was always known to give the competitors and the warriors a very hard time here. Not here, but all my life. That's what happened to me. I always like to say this, this story again, Grand Master Car Carson Gracie. I was a blue belt and was, you know, doing really good. And I was, I beat guys that are already competing on the brown belt. And then Grand Master Carson Gracie talked to my master, Carlos Gracie Jr. That was a shame. Carlos, this is a shame. You need this kid in the, in the blue belt. And this and that. But he made me who I am. I'm glad that he took forever to give me. I, I don't even know if I, how long I took on the, on, the, on the blue belt. Blue and brown belt, it took forever. <laughs> you know? But that made me who I am. You know? Of course, you have ego. You see people that are kind of same time as you getting the belt. Of course, it's normal to be like men. But I never envy them. I, not, I never felt like any kind of like ill will against them. I always knew that whatever was happening was better for me at the end of the day. And that's the same case here today, guys. If you're not getting and you get mad, you get sad, it's because you don't deserve. I'm sorry. You don't deserve. You're not ready there yet on the mind and the spirit. Maybe the body, maybe the technique, but not on the body and the spirit. Okay? So, enjoy the ride. But for the new black belts now, I'll give you some advice. <coughs> Everybody already know, the new black belt is a new beginning. The new, the new black belt is all about service, which is true. New black belt is a, it's, it's about being a role model to everybody. Everybody knows that. But I'm telling you today something that I read the other day. I think it was very interesting. interesting that it was written by one of my main Rivals in Jiu-Jitsu competition, Professor uh, 
Professor Renato Tavares. Renato Tavares is a multi-time <coughs> world champion, Masters world champion. Uh, uh, he did a lot of successful MMA. A very tough guy. I, I competed against him in all belts, so he was like really, really tough competitor, really good friends. He's black belt on the Grandmaster Carson Gracie as well. Carson Gracie and our in Gracie Bio was the biggest rivalries on the 80s and early 90s. Uh, and then he said something that I think was really cool and I'm gonna share with you guys. It's not what about <coughs> what to do as a black belt. It's more what not to do as a black belt. And I think it was genius what he said, honestly. You get a black belt, please do not Number one, do not think you're a superhero. Because guess what? You're not. Number two, don't think that just because you have that belt on your waist is going to smash everybody. Guess what? Juvenile kids will tell you out. I'm sorry. Jiu Jitsu is real. Jiu Jitsu, one the good thing about Jiu Jitsu is that if you're not trained, if you're not a good day, or if you get somebody who's more dedicated than you, you will tap. That's it. There's nothing you yeah. can do about it. Doesn't matter the belt that you have on your waist. It's happening. So don't think they're a superhero. Don't think you're never going to tap again. Don't be one of those guys that just because you're a black belt, you think you'll be having privileges in relates to things outside of the mat. That people are going to pay your bill when they see you in the restaurant. <laughs> Guys, you're laughing, right? You, you're laughing, but that's the truth. Don't think that the bouncers of the clubs will let you go in before, everybody. <laughs> Seriously. Don't think you're too special because, look, you will have the hierarchy inside the mats that will be lined up in the front that you have the the right to choose your training sometimes, that people will call you professor, all that, but all that is martial arts etiquette, okay? Don't be somebody who you're not. In other words, don't be fake, okay? I think one of the biggest problems nowadays from black belts is that they're trying really hard to portray, portray something that they're not, okay? I believe 100% that people are people. Sometimes you agree or don't agree with their personalities or what they do. But one thing that I don't like and I'll never like, and I say this in front of the camera, is that if you are nice behind the camera, if you're nice to people who you do business with, but forgive me my French, if you're an asshole with somebody else, if you're an asshole in, 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 in social media, if you're an asshole, pretty much an asshole. Sorry about the word. <laughs> for me, for me, you know that you're no different. Oh, because oh I do that. No, no, because it's just business. I I, I say horrible things about my, my opponents. I say horrible things about their coaches. I say horrible things about everybody. But I send them a private message saying, hey, man, it's just show business. No. It's not how I operate. And that's not how I think people need to operate. If you are, again, there's kids in here. And they, <laughs> stop with me. <laughs> okay? Be that all the time. All the time, with everybody, doesn't matter. Be that with the President of the United States. Do that as the anybody, because that's who you are, and that's fine. I don't. I may not agree, I may not like it, but be real. For me, those guys are better than the fakes. The guys who do all that, you know, and that's, that's the other spectrum. In the social media, in all over, was well, like, oh my Christian man, oh, like, uh, like this, this and that. Oh, don't do harm to, 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 to this. Oh, don't do this, don't do that. Like, 
preaching pretty much. And then these people, these same people, betray everybody. These same people talk bad about everybody. These people put people against each other. So for me, I'm being a little rude today. I had a surgery yesterday. People, a lot of people know. A little small surgery, but I had. But here I am, but you know, maybe it's the effect of that anesthesia or something. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're a black belt and you are like that, for me, you're no different than a male or a female prostitute. I, I really think because you do everything for money. You do everything for money. You know? So don't be one of them. Don't let the black belt change you to get on a point to be like that. Okay? Be who you are. Be he real all the time. Okay? We see examples. Like we use a lot of examples in Miss Martial Arts because it exploded its own over TV. But, you know, we're going to use an example that I have here. Professor Alex Morano. Amazing fighter. Doing great in UFC winning. He is the same all the time. He talks the same way, with the same face, with everybody, all the time. <laughs> He's not fake, not even one of fake. But put him in a cage or put him on the street to somebody to see him. <laughs> you know? That's it. Be who you are, be real. I admire more people. For example, the MMA world. I don't want to say names because, you know, we never know. Nowadays, people want to sue you and all that or whatever. <laughs> but, but there's like a certain people that people think they're the bad guys that, you know, they fight after their octagon and, and, and uh, they do all this mess. But they're the same all the time. They're the same with Dana White and they're the same off with, with everybody. You know what? I respect those guys. But I don't respect the guy who goes, Dana, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh, and talk about it with them. And then like talk to the opponent, hey, great to share the octagon with you and go to social media and boom, 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 talks about the bad, bad about the, country, the guy's country, the guy's family, the guy's religion. Come on, man. Don't be one of them. Because I know for sure there are more people here eventually will be in the big leagues. So remember that day. Never forget that day. Okay? Guys, I'm looking here. 